Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Worth Consulting's uh, video review of how to use this exciting new uh, HP Top Shot LaserJet Pro M275. It's essentially a tiny little laser printer built into this compact compact unit. But the star of the show is this scan station, which gives you three-dimensional scanning capabilities. And the first thing you do is you lift up this arm. And underneath this arm is a CCD camera right in the middle. And then there's three flash locate flash bulbs, flash flashes located across the width of this of this bar. So we have a removable scan station platform which lets you get in and mess with the supplies when you need to. Uh, it's got little magnetic feet that fit into these holes here, so when you put it back down, it kind of like drops right in there. And you also use this for scanning documents. Uh, the letter size document is pushed up into this corner here, and it ends up right about here. So here's your indicator for the letter. So what you want to do when you scan uh, any kind of a three-dimensional object is center it underneath this uh, CCD sensor. So we have three pieces of jewelry here, and we'll, uh, first thing we'll do is we'll make a copy. So you go over to the touch screen, it's 3.2 inch touch screen, and you press copy, and then it's, it's automatic, but let's go into the settings and do it manually. So you have a capture mode. Oops. Back. Capture mode. And we'll, we'll select a 3D object. See, the auto is default. So we'll select a 3D object. And if I could, do, if it was in front of this, it would be a lot easier. 3D object, okay. And we're going to make a uh, a color scan. So uh, watch the three flashes take place once we do this. Okay, I gotta press. press Nothing's happening. There, you go. there we go. It's taking three individual flashes from the to give it the, eliminate the shadows and give it the depth that it needs when it does the scan. And the unit will combine the three images uh, with its internal processing into a single three-dimensional uh, object. Now it's printing out the copy. As you can see, the, um, the copy is pretty darn good. Uh, if you tried to copy uh, this off of a regular platinum glass, you certainly wouldn't get this level of detail and quality, and you would get all kinds of reflections from, from within the jewels in all different directions. So, uh, by itself, this is an impressive looking copy. Now you can also use this to scan a di digital image. You can do it in two ways. You can scan the di digital image and send it to Google Docs. So what you would or or box.net. So what you would do is install the app using the ePrint Center website. And we'll go into the app and it's downloading the apps from ePrint Center. And the very first one is called Google Docs eStorage. I would touch that. Uh, I'm already logged in, so continue. Um, I don't know why 
it. It's asking me for my password again. But nevertheless, uh, I'm not going to sit here and type in my prep password. Nevertheless, you would be presented with an option to scan, and it would scan default 3D and send it to your Google Docs account. So how does it work from a PC? Let's go over and check it out. First of all, we have that document in Google Docs, and I'll, I'll, uh, we'll take a look at it afterwards. But if I want to scan, and I have quite a bit of control over it, you use HP Scan from the program menu under old HP, and you would launch HP Scan, and you have the ability to save uh, as a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG, email it as as any of the three. So let's choose JPEG, and over here we have. Uh, color output, uh, black and white, grayscale. There's several re resolutions you can choose from. We'll choose the highest. And item type is photo document with 3D object. So let's choose 3D object and let's see what the pr scan preview looks like ahead of time. So now it's going to scan the, uh, you can see the flashes occurring over to the left on the machine. Uh, it is processing the image at the machine and it's going to shortly send it to this workstation here and we'll see what what it looks like over here once the scan is received you can adjust the darkness the brightness and the contrast you can rotate the image you can crop the image you can remove the background so the scans coming in right now and it'll do uh, some pretty tricky stuff with it. Actually it breaks it up into three individual objects which is pretty outstanding and it automatically uh, crops each one and it does a pretty good job of cropping it. I mean if you look really close you'll see that the items are cropped just about perfectly. And you also notice, well, you also notice that the shadow on either side is, depending on where it's located on the scan station platen, you get a, a, a slightly different shadow. The one in the middle, which is this heart, you can see has 3D dimension effects are nearly perfect. The one on the left is slightly darker on one side than the other, and the one on the right it's slightly darker on one side than the other but nevertheless you get to see this is the flattest image of them all and these these two are more three-dimensional and the more three-dimensional it is the bigger the the shadow object so right here uh, we can rotate um, we can uh, crop we can adjust the the brightness, uh, the contrast, and once we get it the way we want it, obviously that's not what we want, but once we get it the way we want it, let's, let's go back to the middle, you can save it. So we'll click save and um, we'll put it in picture library and save it. So it's going to save over here. You can see that it saved four different versions of this. All of the jewels and only and each of them individually. Let's open this one up. And you can see that the quality is pretty darn impressive. and it saved them as portable 
network graphics so the background is are transparent for when we put them in a if you want to put them on a web page it's doing a lot this the little device is doing a lot of work for us and last but not least let's go to uh, Google Docs and check out what we scanned yesterday and log in I'm not sure if it's the exact same scan probably not but you'll see right here that we, that we scanned something to Google Docs yesterday and um, opening it up. I'm not sure why why I'm not getting a preview of it and this is not good. But oh. let's do this. Oh. I'm probably logged in as somebody different this time. So, this is not, um, we're going to have to cut this part of it out of there, but uh, nevertheless, you should be able to, uh, to, to view your, your scans on Google Docs, and we did yesterday. I'm not sure what the problem is right now, and what, we're not going to take a lot of time to do it on video. But that's it. I mean, it's a, a great, great little product, and it um, really, uh, if you're taking pictures uh, for uh, catalogs, newsletters, website uh, of, of three-dimensional objects, um, this, this little machine will save you a lot of time and energy and give you quality uh, images that will be really tough to get to capture with a, a for instance, a digital camera or any other type of scanner for that matter. So this is a great little product and HP did a nice job and thanks for watching.